You'll notice I didn't actually say God saved the king at any point <laughs> during the service, but as tempting as it might be. Anyway, um, we are going to be discussing kings today in our sermon, so if you would uh, turn in your Bibles to 1 Kings chapter 16. But unfortunately, the example of the kings that we'll be looking at is a poor one. Uh, as you know, in the book of Kings, uh, we track the history of the kings of Judah and the kings of Israel. Uh, and at times they are they're viewed concurrently or sometimes we'll look at one dynasty. Unfortunately, because the dynasties changed so quickly in Israel, the northern kingdom, it was often possible for just a few verses to contain the history of an entire house uh, rising and falling, as we'll see in the case of Baasha, the house that he established that did not continue because he disobeyed the Lord. One of the things we'll also see, unfortunately, is sons following the wicked example of their fathers, even though they knew what came of them. Uh, but before we turn our attention to the word of God and seek to glean wisdom from that, let us go to the one who has given us this word, and let's ask for his blessing. Please join me. Sovereign Lord, I am a weak man. I cannot hope to unpack your word, divide it aright, and apply it to your people. But I know, O oh Lord, that you can. I do pray, therefore, as your word is being read and preached, that you would be the one who would be sending it to hearts, that you would be, O oh Lord, breaking our hearts with your law and making them fertile ground for the gospel seed to take root and to flourish. As we hear about the bad examples of our forebears in the faith, your covenant people, Lord, those who have been set apart by you and given. 